Hello, you thoughts. Welcome to John Solo's Beer Brigade. I'm John Solo. This is the legendary, I think that's the word, the legendary Miss Legendary, Ramblin. no. Gramlin, yeah. Uh, is, is your first name Ramblin? Is that how that works? Uh, no. 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 Nah. So you, you, you seem nah. out of you seem out of breath. You had to hurry in this morning. Is that I know you were driving. You were gonna do the show from your car. I know that was all going nah, on. No, I wasn't gonna do it from the car. There was no way. I don't have vmix on my phone or the list of well, millions you, you, of audios that came out just, in the last two weeks. You, just have to uh, two weeks. You had to get that stress. And by the way, I put your name. The, the I put your name as. This is also last week. I figured you would appreciate that um, because all of them came out like we're late. I missed last week's show. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Alyssa. I just I I didn't that's do it. Good. So I think, that, I think that's the first one that I've missed. Is that is that right? Since mm -hmm. we started this in November. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, yeah, I played hooky, so it is what it is. Um, anyways, we got a bunch of books to go through here. I'm going to try my best not to harass you. Now, that is it's a challenge for me, but I'm going to yeah, try okay, my best. Yeah, okay, sure. I yeah. believe it when I see it, and I've got yeah. oceanfront property in Arizona. I'd like to just sell you, too. Wow, you've been saving <laughs> that joke, haven't you? Um, yes, well, I have. So, <laughs> so first up here we have... We have Doctor's Date by Heidi Cullen, Cull, Cullinan. Bob. Narrated. Like say Bob. Bob. That's what we call it, Bob. <laughs> Heidi Smith. Um, narrated by Iggy Toma. Excellent. Then we had. To, oh, you didn't even say when it came out, but okay. I, I figured they're That's all fine. like they're all so <laughs> last week. That's what I figure. Well, not all of them, but okay. Anyway, to whom it may concern, a for him novella by A. M. Johnson, narrated by Kirk Graves and Aaron Shedlock. It came out on the seventeenth. Boom. Then we had <laughs> Co Direction Without a Compass Book Four by Gregory Ash, narrated by Charlie David. And that one also, oh, that's cool, Charlie's still doing it. Yeah, that one came out on the 17th, too. Then we had... Yeah, every once in a while, Charlie will come out with something. That's cool. I didn't know that he was still working. I neither did I. Altered Realities by Mark A. Roeder, narrated by Michael R. L. Kern. Is that like a, a hyphenated thing? Like, you know, when a woman gets married, sometimes they'll decide, and rightfully so, they want to keep their names so they'll... Maybe that's what that Michael R. L. Kearney, like he's, he got married twice, apparently. So uh, that one came out on the 18th. Who knows? Yeah. Then we had. Chasing Mr. Wright, Faded Hearts, book one by Amy Nicole Walker, narrated by Connor Brown. Connor Brown. That was on the 22nd. That must have been the weekend gap there from the 18th. Isn't that your Washington weekend. Monument up um, there? Is, <laughs> wow. The erect I, building? Yeah, I was, I was not paying any attention to the phallic symbols, but, you know, if he has that, he probably is Mr. Wright. Um, then, then we had... I'm So Not Over You by Kosoko Jackson, narrated by Timothy Bell Reese. Must have been another one of those situations where Timothy got married and he wanted to keep his, his last name. That one also came out on the 22nd. The 22nd was a big day. Then we had... Yes, it was. Sink or Swim, Shore Leave, Book 2 by Annabeth Albert, narrated by Greg Boudreaux and Joel Leslie. You said Tremblay wrong. Is that... No, that I didn't. is like two superstars coming together there, Get, uh, Greg yeah. Boudreaux and, and Joel Leslie. Have you listened to that one yet? No, I need to listen to the first one first, I'm sure, because yeah, well, I don't we'll think it would be a standalone. Does anybody know, well, is anybody, do you know, is that like a, a Tantor project? Is that a, a, do you know what publisher put it out? I think so. Um, no, I don't. Actually, hold on. I can find out. Yes. You got the information. I, ha I have the information. And this is curious. Have, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's publisher. That's not indie, but uh, I'm sure it's a pub. I, I do believe it was um, um, Tantor or something like it. Um, let me see. Yeah, it makes no difference. Harlequin to Audio. Harlequin Audio. Now, that one I've not worked with yet. Cool. Well, that's a very cool thing. Um, then we had. 
Tide of Tricks, Shadow of London series book two by Ariana Nash, narrated by Cornell Collins. By the way, my stomach is going batshit crazy. I'm sorry, I haven't eaten I yet. heard that. I, I think I'm going to have to do that before we record today. Uh, that one also came mm -hmm. out on the 22nd. This next whole batch is the 22nd. Next we had... A uh, Thin Blue Line, books one through three. It was a bundle, of course, by Patty Logan, narrated by Michael Dean. Little Patty Logan putting out the bundles. That's going to be a good deal, too. Do you have any idea how long This is, is a good series. Yeah. Um, I think it's about 20 or 30 hours long. I've listened to each individual one. I've got this bundle, the box set, of course, because I love the series. It's like a spinoff of the... Death and Destruction series, and then there's another spinoff after that. Well, she's got it going on. Those bundles are a fantastic value, too. Plus, especially, yeah. I mean, with that sale that just went on at Audible, now I know that this came out like a week ago, so everybody probably already knows this, but that sale that just came around on audio, uh, Audible a few days ago, <laughs> getting 20 or 30 hours for one credit's got to be a hell of a deal, or one. Oh, I, yeah. I think, that, I think that sale, wasn't that sale like less than a credit's price kind of thing for a book? So it was like seven bucks a book or something Some like of that. them were. It, I think that that one was about seven, maybe $9. Yeah, that's a so, hell yeah. of a deal. <clears throat> yeah, it was. Cool. cool. Uh, then we had, oh, i, I got to tell you about <laughs> this. Um, Seasons, Psych Cop Briefs, Volume 2. By Jordan Castillo Price, narrated by Gomez Pew. Pew pew pew. Yeah, I think that's a. Pew. That's also a bundle, isn't it? Ah <laughs> uh, no. It's not. I, I don't, don't think, think so. Oh, uh, so it's briefs. It, so it, it's it, it's it's yeah. additional stories above and beyond the initial. Um, yeah. That is my best friend's favorite series, I do believe. So I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> no, I um, forgot to. Yeah, should have let her know about that. Yeah. Uh, then we had. This one was interesting. <laughs> I listened to the sample and it was like totally off the wall, but it's great. Um, Winter Masquerade by Kevin Clare, narrated by John Belitho Jones. I had okay, to ask. I've got, I've got the... questions. Yeah, I've got questions. So she, she's <laughs> I've got, got written... questions. <laughs> so Kevin Clare is obviously kind of a weird spelling uh, to, to us Americans. It's a weird spelling. But then she has in parentheses after it's uh, Kevin Clare, <laughs> spelled like we would say Clare. So you asked somebody about this, how to say it, right? Uh, the author posted a little snippet video of the narrator mm -hmm. talking, about the ser talking about the book. That's how I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of cool. course, I messaged him and let him know we were doing this book on the show. And he goes, cool. Let me have the uh, link when you get it. Dude, that's awesome. And you're kind of a big deal. So people know about you in the show, obviously. But um, <laughs> I, I, w I want to see. It's I, I'm so encouraging like other narrators to come out and, and do some video. Obviously, I do a lot of video. I would love it if other narrators did that. But I guess maybe I just I don't know where to find them kind of thing. So if you could send me the yeah, link. Yeah, and to I that, do believe the I do believe that narrator and or author are both British. I know the narrator is. I would I would love to see the video. I like could listen. Video. I could probably listen to him do more books. Well, you seem to be into the British accent, if I remember correctly. That's kind of like... Sometimes, if, yes. Yeah, if there's a British man moaning daddy, that is like... that's, that's if there's <laughs> I've a never Venn come across diagram, that, though. Well, so the Venn diagram is there's British accent over here, and then, then there's moaning daddy over here. And right in the middle, that's that's like the, you know, the cornucopia. That's I basically think that's only Nick and Zach moaning daddy. Yeah, that, I, well, I mean, yeah. I've moaned daddy, but I, I you know, I... Don't really do it in a British accent on a regular occasion. <laughs> um, well, but cool. I mean, you I, do a good job with that too. Yeah, the daddy thing or the British, because my British is, my British is, it's, it's, it's shaky. I, I think my problem with my British accent is, is that I, I cross over two British accents. I, most of my British accent is probably a London-esque kind of thing, but then I get this Northern thing going on, like closer, like the Northern side of England. I don't really know where to, so I, I do that. So I mix the two. I think that's the problem with my British accent. If I could just lock down one or the other, I think it would be convincing, but... I digress. I'm sorry. I'm not, but uh, yeah. any, yeah. Anyway, that one also that was a, a a 22nd baby as well. Now we're crossing into the 23rd. Here we go. The God's War, the Stars, 
Cov- Cov- Cor- they Bob. I don't say know. Bob. Bob yeah. Guard, Book Five, by Risa Blakely, narrated by Kaval Shaha. Shaha, I like how you say Shaha. That. That, that, that. That one also came out on the twenty third. <laughs> then we had Safe Heart Search and Rescue, Book Three, by Amy Lane, narrated by Julio Maxwell. Julio, Amy Lane. Look, is that? Is that a Dream Spinner Press book? Is that what that is? I haven't seen her publishing so. audio in a while. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's that yeah, is fantastic sure news, man. They are cranking them out again. Uh, next, we had Nothing Gained: The Chosen Book Four by Macy Blake, narrated by Michael Dean. Once again, doing his that own could covers. be Michael Dean on the cover. Yeah, he's doing <laughs> his own covers. He's he's a very good looking man. Uh, then we had. No, no, um, take your drink. You're fine. Just take your time. It's okay. <laughs> House Arrest Without a Home by Brina Brady, narrated by James Talbot. Excellent. That one came out on the 23rd, too. Also on the 23rd, we had... Phoenix Code, New Beginnings by Stephen Pride and Cashel Char, narrated by Jonathan Waters. Waters. I think that's how you... Waters. I Waters. Think you have to, Water. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's, I didn't say that. <laughs> Water. Uh, exactly. Um, and I wish him well on that release. Obviously, uh, uh, Cashel Carr is kind of an older friend of ours from, from a while back. So, and this one, I, I got it. I like the cover a lot better than the last one that I saw. So, this one looks really good. <laughs> um, yeah. Then, then we had a uh, this one. Not What It Seems by Nikki James, narrated by Nick J. Russo. Oh, well, Nikki's like kicking him out lately, man. He's working hard right yeah. now. Uh, that one came out on the 23rd. Then we had... Falling Star by Mark A. Roeder, narrated by Jerry Bradshaw. Did he use... Was he the quarterback on the... No, that Pittsburgh was... Pittsburgh Steelers back in the day? Jerry Bradshaw. And he was in Cannonball Run. Cannonball Run was like a fantastic yes. movie. I don't know if you've seen that. Yes, I love that movie. It's yeah, one of my Jackie, favorites. That's where Jackie Chan made his money right there. Uh, then we mm-hmm. had Wolfing It Down, Korea Book 8 by J.D. Light, narrated by Scott Rose. What do you think they're, what do you, what do you think they're talking about eating there? Um, it's, <laughs> Necessarily has to be food. Yeah, I, I probably, so then we had uh, also on the 25th. Really? Yeah. Every time you, you drink, I'm gonna, new every one. time you drink, my timing is impeccable. <clears throat> Spirited Situation, Ghostly Guardians, Book One, by Louisa, Louisa Masters, narrated by Nick J. Russo. He was a busy man here. Then we had, now we're jumping to the 28th. Wow. I seem to have a lot of cum in my throat today. Um, Criminal Intention, Season One, Episode One. The Cardians Criminal Intention Series Book One by Cole McCade, narrated by Kurt. See, Bonham. when I when I say I have come in my throat, people <laughs> people know people know that I don't actually have come in my throat. But you were gone this morning. We don't really know where. I mean, anything could have happened, and you were taking a big gulp, right? But I mean, so I don't know what you <laughs> mind. I'm not sure how you worked that. So that one's uh, from our buddy Kurt Bonham. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, that came out on the 28th. Then we had. Aww. Oh, yeah, I thought about you and also yeah. uh, Brittany, Brittany when I saw this cover. Yeah, that looks very much like Delilah mm-hmm. right there. That could be it does. Delilah. <laughs> Scratch the Matchmaker by Austin Daniels, narrated by Alan Moore. That one came out on the 28th. I'm going to I'm gonna put that full screen there. Look at that. It looks oh, it's like so cute. Delilah. Look at there. Oh, that's amazing. But not as judgmental. No, probably not. <laughs> no, no. She... <laughs> And, you know, actually, I, maybe I should pop that up on the screen again, just so, uh, is is Cheryl in the crowd? See, Cheryl, that's what a well-fed dog looks like right there. That's 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 how, like, you know, <laughs> healthy, rambunctious. So, anyways, uh, that one came out on the 28th. Uh, then we had... Bent Corners by Chris Jason, narrated by Denver Stevens. That is a very cowboy name. Uh, then we had Always Eli Forever Love Book One by Charlie Novak, 
narrated by Dan Kelly. Dan Kelly. I haven't talked to him in a while either. That one came on the 28th. Good to see he's still working away. Then we had... Mingo McLeod Bundle, books one through four by A.J. Llewellyn, narrated by John Salto. So, I like how you said that, by the way. Are you now, are you A.J.'s uh, P.A.? Is that the way this is working? I'm using a lot of uh, letters here. Are you her personal <laughs> assistant now? Is that the way this is working? Yes. Well, congratulations, man. Just think about this. A couple few years ago, you thought that... I remember like talking you into going to GRL. Like you, you were like so scared. I think you were mostly scared about getting from the airport to the, to the hotel. But anyways, <laughs> so yeah, and, and now you were like you're famous and everybody knows you and you're working for authors and all the congratulations, Lisa. Good for you. Um, did you give away all the codes for this book already? Yes. All well, the codes are gone. I, I like that as well. So hopefully everybody likes that one. Then we had Sapphire Sunset, Sapphire Cove, Book One, by C. Travis Rice, narrated also by C. Travis Rice. That's uh, that's he's he's a he's a what, what do they call it? Like when Barbara Streisand was, you know, she could act and she could dance and she could sing and she was a multi threat. Triple you know, threat. Was, yeah, triple threat. So Travis Rice here, he's at least a double threat. Uh, that's very cool. <laughs> um, then we had. <clears throat> Turnabout, Vino and Veritas series by Laurel Greer, narrated by Gary Furlong. <laughs> the Vino and Veritas series is like the, it's like the village bike. Everybody has a ride. Uh, Gary Furlong. Gets to ride. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Aren't you doing an, another one um, later? Yep, it'll, it'll be my second one. So that's, that's excellent though. Vino and Veritas uh, single-handedly employing narrators throughout the world. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, then we have a very long series. I've noticed <laughs> head above water by C E Ricey Ricey. I don't Ricci, know. Okay. I should have asked Zach. Yeah. Ricey. Ricci. There we go. That. Narrated by Michael Dean and Zachary Johnson. That is another one of those little like superstars. Both of them are performing in the same book kind of thing. Now, yeah. have you listened, have you listened to that one yet? Not yet. Not yet. Um, <laughs> Uh, we'll get to what I'm listening to later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent. Uh, then we had Christmas Wish List, Heartbridge Christmas Series Book Two by N.R. Walker, narrated by Glenn Lloyd. That's a very big scarf that man has on there. That is yeah. A, that's an aggressive scarf. That's one you could you could go out in like a Florida winter in that that thing right there. Uh, then no, we had definitely not that. It seems like I've Definitely seen this not. cover before. I've seen this. Yeah. <laughs> White Knight, Blackwood Pack, Book 8, by Mary Rendell, narrated by Nick J. Russo. Congratulations once again to Nick J. Russo, the busiest man in uh, Columbus, Ohio at this point. Uh, then we had... Hard Landing, Santa Cruz Shifters, Book 2, by Marie Booth, narrated by Tim Page and Will Watt. Will Watt. Uh, that one came out. Well, we are like almost caught up. These all came out uh, uh, to us Next yesterday. Week. This this is airing on Friday. Well, yeah. So these came out on Wednesday, I guess, um, which is another big day. Um, and also, cool. I haven't heard of Will, but obviously we know Tim. So congratulations there. Then we had Valley Ghost Series Box Set 1 from Books 1 through 3 by B.L. Maxwell. Narrated by Alan Jeffries. Yet another box set coming out, which is fantastic. These box sets are a good deal. Um, then also mm -hmm. on the second, we had... Twist Me, Tattoos and Temptations, Tempta blah, yeah, book six by Mia Monroe, narrated by Kale Williams. A couple friends there, love Mia, and of course Kale too. I was just eating Kale the other day. Jody made me a Kale shake, and it was fantastic. Mm -mm. It was kale and i don't like that it was kale bananas with blueberries in it um and some honey drizzled in it and she blended it all together i think there was some sort of we're not doing the dairy right now so this was some sort of uh i don't almond milk i i didn't know that almonds had tits but apparently there's almond <laughs> milk that we're allowed to have so and it was delicious but anyways yes we love kale to death uh, and then finally we had Fire and obs obsidian. Didn't, what? 
Thank you. Obsidian, yeah. Those are famous. Did you know that Indians made arrowheads out of obsidian? Did you know that? I don't know what an obsidian is. It's a hard rock. It's like a black, shiny rock, and they would carve them into arrowheads. So I'm sure that is what Andrew Gray was referring to here. Fire and obsidian. Carlisle Deputies Book 4 by Andrew Gray. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. There's Narrated by out. Miller Stevens, obviously. <laughs> that one uh, also came out in a second, and congrats to our buddy Andrew Gray. Um, now, what we've all been waiting for here, um, and I've been curious because you've been uh, kind of quiet for you. You've obviously been deep into something. What have, what have you been listening to? Oh my goodness. How to Bang a Billionaire by Alexis Hall, narrated by Joel Leslie. Excellent. So, in Joe Leslie, he's, he's a fucking superstar. Everybody knows who Joe Leslie is. Um, are, are you finished in, with this? Are you still listening to it? Where are you? The first book I am. I started the second. Uh, well, this is the third time I've listened to this. I the first time I listened to it, the series broke me, and I wouldn't listen to anything else for about a month after that. Um. Your wrist, yeah, your wrist the... was your wrist was broken. Is that was a sore or what? No, no. Oh God, no. <laughs> I I don't know how. I don't know what. You, okay, uh, what, emotionally what, broke me. Oh, okay. So it's emotionally broken. That makes perfect sense. And cool. All right. That yeah, makes it made me sense. cry. Oh, okay. Well, so that's complete. I'm sorry. I didn't. That's completely different than the wrist thing. I figured that you were you were doing like no, lifting dumbbells when you I were only, working no. this year. No, I only gave this one like two and a half, three bullets. I mean, it wasn't about the sexy times. It was about the story. Okay. That sounds good. And um, it's, Alexis, I... he, he, in lack of a better word, as Taylor put it, is fantastic, has fantastic word porn. Kind of a, a poetic thing, like Roe does as uh -huh. a deal. With, okay, is uh -huh. it is it funny as well, or is it just kind of pull it, your it heart out? It can be. It, okay. The second book at, toward the end will pull your heart out, but the first book is mainly the development of these two characters and how this university graduate and billionaire get together, and it almost um, reminded me of Fifty Shades, almost, but not it just certain aspects of the uh, story did but okay. and the main character one of the billionaire tries to tell the the other guy that he wants he needs to stay away from him but he can't and something pulls them together and the sex he, yeah well yeah that's normal, yeah <laughs> Put it, yeah, put it away, yeah. But it's a fantastic series. I'm trying to get Emma, Tracy, and Betty to listen to it. That's Cheryl well, and yeah, Cheryl and Taylor and I were, have already. I think me and Taylor are re-listening to it again. That's exciting. And uh, if anytime you can say that you've gone back to a, a book that many times in a row, you obviously love it and it's obviously good and it obviously touches something in you. Um, now, with the narrator performance, I'm assuming is, is Joel doing the British accent in this? Is he is he mm -hmm. just himself? Excellent. Yeah. Um, and and British I'll... accent. And after a little while, my thoughts turn British because I've listened to it so much. Your, that my thoughts thought, end up turning thoughts British. Turned British. Were you, were you, eating, were you thinking of crumpets and the Queen and? No, my thoughts turned into like a British accent type thing. It's weird. I know. Yeah. There's I'm so fun. much. To, I, I most of the time I avoid the low hanging fruit. I don't really, but I, I, I get so. For one, it, when your thoughts turn British, um, are you like a Cockney <laughs> British? Or are you like the is is Joel doing just like the RP thing, or is he doing like a, a Northern British? Do you know what what British accent he's doing? I in don't. This? It, I think it was like a London Brit, uh, London accent. Okay, and when you're doing that, because you they're from London. 
When when I think of Emma, our good friend from from Britain, I I always hear like a does that go like are you hearing that in your no. head or anything? No, excellent. Um, <laughs> no, I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I don't want to offend anybody or anything like that. And I I'm I'm super excited that you're into this. Um, I've heard about the series a lot. This is a huge series. Everybody loves it. So just the fact that you're going to it a, a third time, um, kudos. Uh, must be fantastic. I recommend it to everyone. Um, so with, with this book, you're saying this is a. I'm sorry. Did you say a a a, a two bullet or a three bullet? Is or is it two and a half? Is that where you went? It's in between two and three. All right. In between two and three. So um, not as many sexy times, I mean, fantastic storyline. Oh, and... there is. There is. Okay. Just... You... Joel's not known for sexy times. He's known for the comedy and the drama. Okay. But the way he does Caspian's voice, he's got this deep voice for Caspian, who's mm -hmm. the billionaire. It's pretty hot. Yeah. And, and obviously, I mean, if if you're thinking the, uh, the 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 sexy times in a British accent in your head the entire week long, so that's got to be something. Um, con congratulations! Um, I'm glad that you found a series that you can go back and listen to over and over and over again, which is awesome. Um, we have uh, made it through our entire list. I appreciate everybody being patient last week as, as I did life things and all that. We'll be back again the following week and all that good shit. Um, thank you all. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. And remember to uh, think in a British accent. <laughs>